Hello? Come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I think I'm dying. And I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. I'm uh, very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm, I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people for a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderman, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But, uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight, please. It won't take long. <coughs> Maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So welcome back to we Red Dead Redemption 2. Thanks a lot for joining me. My name's Mac, or Chuck Joystick. To me. So we've come to see Rain Falls, and obviously there's a sort of difference of opinion between him and his son, Eagle Flies. Um, I think Eagle Flies is up for a war, whereas sort of Rain Falls is trying to go through the peaceful route. He's seen enough death. Uh, so we'll see what happens, but we're riding with Rain Falls at the minute. Um, so let's see what goes on. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot for joining me. I hope you enjoy the episode. I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. So this guy's been to see the Mur to obviously know, put the plight to the Mur. Uh, hopefully so they'll leave them alone and let them stay on the land. But uh, it's not looking too good for them. They've been moved on so much and then they've got this new reservation. So we're going to help him sort it out. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Even just a couple hours of your time. Right, okay, so we'll head to our destination, and when we're a bit nearer, we will see you there. On here. Right, so welcome back. So, um, Eagle, uh, sorry, Rain Falls, he's going to get some herbs so he can um, ease Arthur's cough. So, we'll just head down here with him. Ah, blanker there. Yeah, he's a good guy, this fella. This must be like any, a sort of very early version of Banalin. This is what I was looking for. English mace. Right. Okay. Let's continue on. You know, I had a son once. Wow. Years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, what was his name? Isaac. His mother. 
Eliza, the waitress I met. Jesus, didn't realize he had a son. Now, I was saying, when she got pregnant, she, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but she said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Bloody hell. Robbed them and shot them dead. Jesus. Off of $10. Hardened me, feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. So I think because Arthur knows his all life's coming to now, an end, it's sort of all coming out now. Things right. He feels he can talk about all the things that's happened in his life. It's such a good story, and uh, I've said it before, but it's so well written. Uh, and its I know it's only a video game, but God, you get invested in it and the characters. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. Right, okay. So we'll get a few more things for this uh, cocktail. Who's going to give Arthur? Hopefully it'll uh, ease his chest and cough a little bit. This will combine well. Oh yeah, look at that view. Bloody beautiful. Look at that. Mountains over there, that's where we started off at the beginning. Right, so we've got the ingredients. Mix these together. It tastes awful. <laughs> but it'll help to keep your strength up. Beauty. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's going to take more than that. I saw a doctor, and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others... I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. Yeah, so that's I John, Abigail, and Jack. Can still do, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, he just, Arthur wants to just set them free. That's stunning, isn't it? Bloody hell. Ah. It's beautiful. Right, so we'll follow um, Rain Falls along this craggy ledge. Then I'm going to fall off. But uh, yeah, some um, quite deep conversations going on. But I think Arthur knows the way he needs to go. Sort of do all the good he can while he's still um, around. But uh, it's been interesting to watch how Dutch has sort of gone off the rails and how sort of Micah has um, influenced him more and more. But I think. Dutch with all the killings and especially the death of Hosea um, just sent him off the edge really when you think all his main enemies have gone now Carmel Driscoll's gone uh, look at Skis Cornwall but, um, yeah it's not much better for the gang uh, the gang's fallen apart really it's just up ahead right beauty I'm not too sure What's what it happened? is, where we're going, or what we're looking for. It can't be. We just found something. Let's go and see what it is. 
Oh, it's like a little camp or something. No! They've destroyed everything! No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Well, maybe it's like a shrine or something. Help me look around, please. Okay. The Chinupa is gone. Right, let's get our um. Oh, here we go. Let's, let's see what's over what here. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Right, so there's a flask. It looks like they were doing some drinking. There was something else over there, wasn't there? Okay, let's head over there. Oh god, that didn't sound good, whatever that was. It wasn't my belly. This is a place of peace. Whiskey soaked logs. Must have been pissing on them. Uh, there's some logs here they must have used as kindling. Oh, right. Oh, there's some more over there. There he is. An yeah. empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, uh, still no sign of the Chinupa. I'm not too sure what the Chinupa is. Oh, there's more stuff over there. Let's go and have a look. What? I cannot believe this. Oh, there's another flask. Army. Oh, army flask. Right. So it was. Bastards are having a party up here. So it was the army. Okay. Let's continue on. Right, okay, so we'll get back to Blanca. So at least they know who it was. Where's he gone? I'm just going to see where he is. There's someone down there. Right, let's go and have a look. Do you have any binoculars? Oh, God, yeah. Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. So that's why they're trying to they kick them off. Here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Bastards. Now they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm going to go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Right, let's go and get it. Whatever it is. Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. No, I don't need your money. Right, let's get to the camp. We'll go and get his Chinupa back. We have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. I can't promise that, sir. I'll try to ensure that they never even know I'm there, but... Yeah, remember I'm playing. Not very good at the old stealth missions, as you will know if you've been watching my videos. Right, okay, so what we'll do is we'll head down to the army camp, and when we're a bit nearer, we will see you there. Right, so let's sort of... Right, we'll head back in and try and uh, get the sacred item. Oh god, so they're all around there. Let's see if we can get in, in here and do it. Might be able to get in the middle and get it.
Right, let's get it and get out of here. Must be imagining things. Quick, quick, quick. Have we got it? All right, let's get out of here. Right, we'll go up this little hill before anyone sees us. In between those two. Beauty. I'm not too sure how we did that, but we bloody did it, and we didn't really hurt anyone. Which is uh, what it wanted us to do. Gee, I don't know how I did that. Right. Let's get Blanker and we'll get back up to Rainfalls. So what we'll do is we'll get on the horse, head back to Rainfalls, and when we're a bit nearer, we will see you there. Right, okay, so we're getting to Rainfalls now, and we can give him his, um, what was it called, the Chumper Rumper or something? Please tell me you found it. We did. Not too sure how, but we did. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, not anymore. Was anyone hurt? No one was killed. Well done. Well done. I wish my son knew such restraint. <laughs> it was luck, really. That, and I'm giving you very little. But please, take this. We believe it to be sacred. Thank you. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. And I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Okay, so we got an owl feather trinket. Uh, we'll just see what that does. That's a new one, isn't it? Uh, so permanently reduce health, stamina, and dead eye core drain speed by 15%. Oh, that's quite good. Right, okay, so that's where we'll leave it for this episode. It was sort of a bit of a uh, deep and meaningful one. But, uh, yeah, we're still learning a lot, and I think Arthur's um, coming to his senses. So thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you did like what you saw and you would consider subscribing, that'd be an absolute rip snorter. But until the next one, stay safe and take it easy.